Can we, let's, let's start off with timing. This was done prior to the election, this survey. That's right, yeah, so the context is important. This survey was taken after the decision to have an election was announced, um, but before the actual result was known. Um, since we have known the results, or we actually still don't know the results, the situation appears to be slightly more politically unstable in the UK. Um, was, was business just beginning to get a sort of its arms around or its head around what the kind of next few years was going to bring, do you think? Do you think we were certainly, there was stability beginning to return post the Brexit vote? So certainly an increase in confidence and, and through the survey what we had seen is that concerns around economic and uncertainty had actually decreased. Um, once again, context is important. Whilst we have seen quite a notable shift in confidence and it's twice the level that it was um, just after the EU referendum, it's just fractionally above the 25-year average of the survey. Right. What are the big issues the British based business face right now? So I think there, what we did see when I was here in January last time, yep. there was a story where we were seeing an increase uh, in confidence from manufacturing, but a big decrease from retail and wholesalers. And we put that down to an exchange rate uh, story and the difference between import and exporting. Um, this time we're seeing actually a much more broad based approach. So we're seeing four out of six sectors actually showing an increase in confidence and in fact construction is the sector which is most confident so this is more likely uh, about a, an increase in confidence around UK demand rather than issues in terms of the weakness of sterling. What's interesting is the data are not suggesting this, the headline data, the survey data, uh, the, the surveys that are done, the, the PMI readings etc and, and there does seem to be a lot of evidence that the British consumer sector is, is certainly starting to feel the pinch. Higher inflation, the wage story is, is certainly putting a squeeze on, real incomes are not rising. So is that consistent with what you're seeing or are you seeing a different story? Yes, so actually through this survey what we see is that um, businesses are, there's not an increase in businesses looking to increase prices but the number of businesses who are expecting to increase prices is still very high. So it indicates that there will continue to be uh, a pressure on consumers and inflation.